Hey guys, this is James White with Frequent Reviews, where I specialize in as seen on TV product reviews. This is the Purple Mattress, and I'm giving you my 30 day review. Let's get right to it. All right, so I've had the Purple Mattress for 30 days now, and I want to show you how the entire process went from the time I got it to how it was going today. So here's a look back to when I first got the mattress delivered. So there is the purple mattress and this is the point three. So when they delivered it yesterday, the platform had not arrived yet to put it on. So they suggested leaving it in this state because they said it's over 200 pounds. So they said that it'd be easier to put it on the platform and then take it out of the packaging. And hopefully the platform arrives today and I can get that set up and get started using my purple mattress. I thought the pillow was a behemoth. This is like a double behemoth. See, even Bailey doesn't even know what to do about that. Billy, what are you doing? Well, the platform finally arrived today. So now I've got to assemble this and put that big purple mattress on here. So I'm ready to get started and have a good night's sleep. Last night I had to sleep in the guest bedroom, which that bed really didn't do too well for me. So the purple mattress needs to come through and give me a good night's sleep tonight. So here we go purple platform assembly. All right, I got the platform assembled. It was a bit of a pain, a little bit of more Allen wrench used than I'd like, but it's there. Now I just gotta get someone to help me get the 200 pound mattress onto the base and back up against the wall. So as soon as someone comes home, hopefully I can get it put on there and get started sleeping on it. All right, so here it is. I finally got it on the platform. I had to have one of my son's friends help us because it's 200 pounds. This is how it looks. I don't know if you're gonna be able to use a bed skirt, dust ruffle, whatever you call it on there because look how much of a gap there is between the ground and the platform. That is if you use the platform. The other thing is that I went from a queen to a king size bed and the mattress has arrived before my sheets that I ordered with it. So I have no sheets for the bed yet. Not too much of a problem, that's my fault, but I was gonna suggest that when you're ordering it, maybe try to set the de delivery of the mattress for after the sheets and the platform arrive, because mine arrived before the platform, which was a pain. So ideally you'd have the platform and the sheets arrive before the mattress. Well, this actually feels pretty nice so far. I mean, I've, I'm just laying off the first time here, but I like the way it feels. What I also notice is that the camera's not really moving as I bounce the bed, watch this. I mean, the camera's barely moving. It doesn't seem like it transfers energy around the mattress too much. It seems like it's kind of isolated. That's kind of a good thing. So tonight is the first test of the purple mattress. I'm going to give this a 30 day test before I post my review. So I'm going to be very curious how this works out. This is the purple pillow, my 10 pound behemoth pillow, which I've grown to like over time. But anyways, if you remember this review, there was a really foul smell, a very chemical smell in there. So the first thing I was wanting to know is if there's a smell on the purple mattress. Hmm, I would say there is a very slight smell. Not as bad as this when I first got it, because this was, it actually made my whole room smell like kind of a bad chemical smell. I had to rinse it off outside a few times. But the mattress, I smell a very faint smell. I mean, if you get a new mattress, it's gonna have a smell too, so I don't really think this is out of character for getting a new mattress. It's certainly not as bad as the pillow was. But I'm gonna have to kind of make do. I have some sheets coming for this in a day or two, so I'm gonna have to make do with what I've got because I want to buy new sheets since I have new ones coming. So tonight is the first test of the purple mattress. Oh, it feels pretty good. I kind of want to see underneath here. I'm going to have to figure out how to open this up and look inside. All right, so I've pulled back the case around the mattress to take a look inside, and there's another cover inside, but you can see clearly that here's the purple material. There's a layer of foam around the edge, and down here, you can see this is where the three inches of the purple material is at with the rest uh, memory foam right there. So that's kind of how the mattress is configured. What I like about it is that when you lay on it, you sink down, but you don't keep sinking because this is a little bit firmer. So the mattress is definitely not too soft or too hard really. But that's the purple material that you're laying on. It's a little bit different looking than the pillow. You can just see that it's the same kind of design, but it's a little bit larger on the mattress. They're, it seems like they're a little bit farther apart. Same idea though. 
All right, my purple sheets finally came in. Let's crack this open. First up, we have the mattress protector. They say that it stretches, and it does seem to stretch. Here it is, let's open this up and put it on. It kinda smells a bit like Elmer's glue. Next up, the purple sheets. I got the sheets on there. They're very high quality feeling. It's a different texture than I'm used to with regular sheets. They're kind of like a, almost like a spandex kind of material. They're very stretchy. I'll be interested to see how this feels. There's also a coolness to them. They almost, I almost thought they were wet when I put the, pulled them out of the box because they were so cool. Interesting, they look very well made, so I can't wait to see how they work tonight. I don't have a king size comforter yet, so I'm just gonna throw my queen size on there for right now. All right, I already had one night with the mattress, but without the sheets tonight, we're going with the sheets and the mattress. All right, it's been about 10 days since I've had the purple mattress. This is kind of my first update. All right, time out one second here. I just realized while editing this video that I wore the same shirt on day one that I did on day 10. That's a rookie mistake. I guess I kind of like that shirt, but no, those were not filmed at the same time. But feel free to make fun of me for wearing it twice. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. So far, I've got to say I'm pretty happy with it. I'm usually one to have a lot of lower back pain and surprisingly, I haven't had any back pain since I've been using this. I'm not saying the bed has completely cured my back pain, but I do have less than I did before. So maybe my old mattress was causing a problem. This one certainly isn't. I was gonna do something else also. I noticed in the advertising, they've got sumo wrestlers jumping on there and they say that the platform can handle 4,500 pounds, 4,400 pounds, something like that. Let me try to jump around on this bed and see how it holds up. I used to yell at my kids for doing this. It's holding pretty well. Woo! -hoo. Uh, it's kind of hard to really demonstrate the softness of it. It definitely feels softer, and then it goes out a couple inches, and then it kind of stops. My cat used to need my stomach like this, and now I'm needing my bed. You can see there's a softness. It does go down a couple of inches. After a couple inches, there's thicker memory foam, firmer memory foam below that. So you can only go down so far before the memory foam kind of stops the softness. One thing that's kind of interesting is the advertising says something like, choose your level of comfort, two, three, and four. But when I called in to get my mattress, I was kind of asked my weight and my sleeping position. I usually sleep on my side, and I weigh 165 pounds, and I was told the point three would be better for me than the point four. I thought the point four was the most comfortable, point three less, point two below that, but they're saying that the softness is more about your body type and the way you sleep rather than level of comfort. I'm not sure the advertising really conveys that, not the way that it was conveyed to me when I called Purple myself. So they might wanna think about the advertising on that because I think most people are gonna think the point four is the best, which it might just be the softest. And if you have a lower body weight and you sleep on your side, you don't want that soft of a mattress. Something to think about. I will say after about 10 days, I don't have much really bad to say about this as a comfortable bed. Something else I've noticed is that it tends to slide that direction on the platform, but fortunately, because it's so smooth in the bottom, it's pretty easy to move back. Watch this. Not really a big deal, but something worth mentioning. Now I wanna go over a few pros and cons with the purple mattress. And I will say the pros outweigh the cons, even though I might list more cons. So the pros of the product, number one in my case is that I had less back pain since I started sleeping on it. I've had a lot of back pain over recent years. I've tried lumbar support pillows, painkillers, certain chairs, stand-up desks, even the low back tracks, which is a product review I never posted. All right, I'm seriously having some back spasms right now. I can't even adjust my camera settings. I can't even use my microphone. But in the month I've been using the Purple Mattress, I haven't had any back pain whatsoever. In fact, I sent an email to my doctor telling him about it because I'm so surprised that I've had that much progress. It's a very comfortable mattress and it doesn't take the kind of adjustment that the pillow did because it took me a while to adjust the pillow. This one, immediately liked it. Another pro with the product is that everything seems very well made from the platform to the mattress to the sheets. I just get a feeling that they're all gonna last for a really long time, which is good because it's certainly an investment. 
Another thing is it doesn't really transfer energy that much. Like when I had my camera on one end of the bed and I was moving around, the camera was barely moving. So I think that the transfer of energy isn't nearly as significant as with a traditional mattress. Now a couple of potential cons, which I don't think should dissuade you from looking at the purple mattress, but something to keep in mind as well. First up is the cost. It's certainly not a cheap mattress. Next up is it's really heavy. This is about 200 pounds. A 200 pound mattress is not easy to move around if you move from place to place. And when they brought it, I actually had to have someone help me put it on the platform because the platform arrived after the mattress. Also, the platform was a bit of a pain to assemble. I didn't think the instructions were really that great. I made the mistake of assembling it with the legs up. So when I had to flip it over, it doesn't really install as a solid unit, it kind of moves around, so it was a bit of a pain to flip it over. Plus the fact there was a lot of turning of Allen wrenches. I, I think the installation was my least favorite part of it and the instructions could definitely be better. Another thing is that the Purple Mattress isn't really designed to be used with box springs, so if you have a box spring set up that you're replacing, you're going to have to get something like a platform to put it on, and that could be an additional investment. And finally, I'm not sure they've really done a good job of conveying to the consumer which mattress is right for them. I think they need to convey a little bit better that the thickest mattress isn't necessarily the best for everyone. Again, I don't think the con should dissuade you from considering it, but they are worth mentioning as well. The smell disappeared after a couple days, not like the pillow where I had to wash it off. There was no white powder. A couple of final notes. Uh, number one is you don't have to use their sheets. I did want to use their sheets. They're kind of expensive, anywhere from $100 to $130, depending on the size of bed you have. But any sheets will work on the purple mattress. Number two is you might have noticed I got rid of my headboard in my bed. You can use your headboard. There's an attachment on the platform that allows you to use your headboard. I just want to get rid of mine. Also, the platform itself, the cost of that is about anywhere from $130 to $190, depending on the size of the bed you get as well. In the end, I think the Purple Mattress is a good product. It might be a bit expensive, but if you're looking for a long-term investment in a good mattress, this is something you might want to consider. Have you used a Purple Mattress or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews. I'm going to let Bailey check it out. Come on, Bailey. Oh, she sees that. What is that, Bailey? Yeah, inspect it. Inspect it carefully, Bailey. Good girl.